You were wearing short pants before anybody. He believes that you can actually change and be better. And he challenges his friends, his loved ones, to be better. When you know better, you do better. And he believes that. We grew over the years. I know people joke about the banana boat, but we more than a banana boat. <laughs> this is a true friendship. We came in this game together. Now look at you. You trading jerseys and <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's all love, though, because at the end of the day, it's bigger than basketball. You have some guys, they're teammates. You spend nine, 10 months together or whatnot, but at the end of the day, they're just teammates. But us, this don't go nowhere. And I still can't imagine now you not being in this league next year. I think at the end of the year, he's gonna change his mind and we'll do this all over again next year. We want to honor you with a Hollywood star. So you got to put your hands in there. And you, you, you got big hands, so you got to do them a different way. And I thank you, son, for just loving me, irregardless of who I am. I know I'm special. You know, talking about a fashion icon, y'all didn't see me, right? We was having a conversation, and I said, boy, that's my name. He's like, yeah, it's your name, daddy, but I made it relevant. <laughs> From me to you, I love you, and words can't explain how proud I am of you. I was a young kid from inner city Chicago with a dream. And my dream was to be, to be different. I knew I wanted my mom to be proud of me. I knew I wanted my dad one day to say those, those exact damn words he said up here. It only took 37 years. I got 26 regular season games left in my basketball life. And I'm gonna go out shoot. <laughs> so thank you guys, man. I appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. I love all you guys. Thank you. Now, we've seen it uh, all season long in this final season. It's all respect, Candace. Yeah, it's been the D-Way tour. And I, you know, we've honored his basketball career. But as you saw the, last, the other night, it was it's more than just basketball. It's about the relationships, the person that you become while you're playing this game and the people that you touch. And that will go on far longer than the ball's bouncing. Yeah, D-Wade is a consummate professional. Uh, I, first, I first seen him in 2005. Had no idea where he was, but right before I got traded, watching the playoffs, I saw a special player. And Kenny, we kind of talked about this yesterday, where some guys have the right to say where they want to be traded. I knew I wanted to be traded to Miami, so I went in there and said, okay, you want to trade me? Fine. I want to go to Miami. I wanted to play with that guy because I saw something in him, same thing I saw in Kobe, same thing I saw in uh, Penny Hardaway, and in 2006, we were able to get it done. When his, when his second year in the league, the um, ben, then Nike slash Converse asked me to MC his unveiling of his first sneaker, and so they were giving me a script. I said, I don't need a script. I just have a couple things I want to say. I said, well, most guys come into the league and they get a sneaker deal because of their potential. Here's a guy who came into the league with nothing and earned the right to have a shoe. That was Dwayne Wade's whole career. Everything he had, he earned the right to do it. And he became not only a great player, but he's probably, without question, one of the top five players at his position that's ever touched the basketball. And you know, the first time I really thought about D. Wade, it was 2003 when we, the first year we had the All-Star game, he wasn't in the league at that point in 2003, but he was at the Legends brunch that year because he wanted to meet these guys who had made it all possible, who had opened the doors for all the modern-day players to be there. The special cat, uh, D. Wade, no doubt. And there was no questioning that when LeBron James and Giannis were picking their teams, when it came time for that last pick of the special editions and LeBron had the first pick, you knew he was going to go D. Wade. Those two spoke with Kristen Ledlow. LeBron, yesterday, Dwayne told me that the stars aligned perfectly for the two of you to play together one last time. What are you most looking forward to about playing alongside this guy? Um, I think you just said it, Chris, and just being back on the floor with him, you know, one last time, one last hurrah, um, you know, and, and 
all-star and like you said the stars aligned it all makes sense so you know it's gonna be a treat like I've been telling everybody it's a bittersweet moment for myself you know the, the bitter part is that this is the last time but the sweet part about it is how many memories that we've had over the years so you know I'm gonna look forward to all of it at what point are you throwing Braun that one last lob <laughs> well just the thing I gotta leak out a little bit so I get in front of him <laughs> I, I ain't as quick as I used to be so I can't run with him but um you know obviously the fans want to see it I don't know how it's gonna be or when it's gonna come but um I know whenever I get the ball that guy's always lurking so it's just I, I can feel him coming I can hear him coming you know down the court and uh, hopefully I get an opportunity to do it you mentioned the memories is there one that stands out between the two of you um I mean I think it's just our my first championship that I won my first championship um you know in Miami you know alongside this guy that was his second and it was something that we wanted to do that's why we came together and just being able to host that that, that trophy up that night in Miami in front of our fans uh, it was a night that I would never forget. Has it sunk in yet that this is the last time? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it sunk in uh, because this is a decision that I made. You know, I made a decision to to leave the game right now. You know, not being forced out, not being kicked out, walking away from the game with my head up high. Uh, very thankful for all the opportunities that I've had. Thankful for the opportunities that to play with this guy and, and be linked to, to so much greatness and um, and to be able to walk away knowing that I'm one of the greats to play this game. I'm um, I'm cool with it. Congrats, guys. We'll see you out there. I'll see you out there. You've heard much from D. Wade, and this is his final season. But you know, when a when it's a player-to-player sit-down conversation, you get stuff you wouldn't get under normal circumstances. You get that when Kevin Garnett and D. Wade sit down. You can see it tomorrow night, 9 o'clock Eastern time.